Hello, Bob. You know, Bob, after the third January, Jeremy have his three beers. I'm having snails from BC. Strawberry and Rupa. Uh, now, I, I heard you last video, and you know, every time you mention your medication, I go, whoopie doo. I, I don't care what medication, what vitamin you take. I know you're trying to prove, but I'm about to say, same uh, age, and I don't buy vitamins. The only time I had to take vitamin, vitamin shots, not the pair, when I was lacking in you know, the sunshine vitamin D10 or D12, I'm not really sure. But what I'm trying to say is you're wasting all that money. Yeah, I get a late count in the middle of the night. All I do is relax and it goes away. I don't stress. The reason I don't stress in the morning because I get those uh, we call it sorry horses. They're painful, yeah. But I don't go and buy medication for it because all I need is just keep on exercising those muscles. Mm, not bad. And. I don't need to take all these vitamins because the stories stay out and some people call it the vitamin myth. If you don't get these same vitamins in your food, you need to eat more of those food, not go and take your vitamins. Yeah, we've gotten the vitamin C um, met back in the 80s, and what happened, we almost all turned orange. And also, I hate the taste of vitamins. But, the thing is, Bob, I don't go so the medication what I take for my diabetes and all that, because everything is paid for, except for vitamins. But here, the Canadian government we don't believe in vitamins. Well, they are vitamins. People do take it. Only when needed. And your wife got enough pills to open her own drugstore. And you too. I'm, I'm surprised how many pills. Oh, I'm going to see something. This is all I take in one, one day. Four last, no vitamins, nothing. More than this for my panic, my panic, and for my diabetes. It helped me to go to sleep. I don't need tons and tons of, of vitamins to help me. That's why I have a healthy diet. You think your food is tough? Five dollars from hamburger. Trying to live in the Yukon. Ten dollars a pound of hamburger. Ten. A six pack of this is eleven bucks. Eleven bucks. I bought more than you got. Get for your alcohol down self. I drink powder milk because the real stuff, you know, it's more expensive than gasoline. Yes. 
it's cheaper to drink gasoline here in the UK than whole milk at five dollars for four liters, a couple gallons. <laughs> you think you're tough? We got Walmart. We got all the Canadian stores. We got supers and all that. But they stay high to food because it costs a lot of money to write this stuff up here in the UK. Fourteen bucks. And, and you hear you complain. I should get plenty how much food costs here in the Yukon. Way up. I mean, how Alaskan people. Yeah. And you, but you, you, you bitch. You mind. Then you show your Mexican. And I go like. Why, bro? Why? I bought myself a Christmas tree. Why well, I turn on the wrong? Oh. My man, I hate me when I burn stuff, but then again, it's not dope smoke. This is my Christmas tree. Fourteen dollars. Plus. So you have some, the cheapest tree in the Yukon, right here, 14 bucks. And you just go, and we, yeah, we could go and chop down, but the cutting permit is even 20 times higher than that. Don't even think of it. I'm not nice. I'm not even 20. My first one, I bought a six pack. I think, well, ever the first generation got drunk and being an ass himself, I'm not sure he did it or not. We, we all got a good, good laugh at it. At least you get drunk and being an ass. All you use is a Bible. I know, I, I, I am going on. I was planning to just talk about how expensive Christmas trees are here in the UK, but when I've seen you with the Mexican, I'm going, I'm the same age as you. I'm about the same body size as you. I take large Mexican with my insulin than you every day. And your life. I take last mastication. No, I'll show you. Last mastication than you. Now, who's the healthy one there? At least I work and, and so forth and do exercise. That helps the mastication. You do? <laughs> I'm glad the Walmart is about 100 miles away. I, I, for me, it's about five blocks. The Canadian Walmart is a little different than the United States. Is he happy? And, um, yeah. I am I'm really, really surprised that, once again, if you, uh, you have to show us what you really buy with your money. Most of your haters like me go like, whoopee. More information to make fun of you. More information to f make fun of you. Thank you for the ammo. But then again, for some who don't take vitamins, my doctor actually only once, as I said, scribe vitamins because of the lack of sun. Because here in the Yukon, we, except for the summertime, we don't get our vitamin 10, ten all the time. You see me coming in here on my video with how heavy my jacket is. Yes. So, we have a reason to. You guys got more sunlight. 
If you, if you want to go get your vitamin 10 for free, go outside more often. That's how I avoid, like, what, $15 a bottle of that stuff? You should eat more fruit and veggies to get those vitamins. Yes, you, your diet probably is as expensive as mine. But at least I save money on good food versus vitamins and vitamins. Isn't that how much good food with vitamins you could buy instead of those vitamins? Or then you don't listen to it. Oh, by the way, thank you for not mentioning me in your second last video. When you... Yes. I was going to make a video about also that I don't hide behind a fake name. All the people you mentioned, I have nothing that hides behind a fake name and a fake fiction. You should give me a credit that I'm speaking A and B here, uh, face to face like you mentioned. And uh, you should give me credit. I know I hate you, you hate me type of thing, but at least you can see my face. You know what I am, how I look like, and my real name. Well, I got, you know, name change, but still, I pay money, not make it up. That's why you easily could dox me. I don't give a shit. Day one, I get on the internet, and I figure I won't hide behind that. Because when you sign up for the menu, like on Facebook, they have your address and all that ready there. So why hide behind something? So next time you know that you see me on my computer, at least I am not hiding behind your own ugly face when talking. You should give me credit for that. Because I believe in the old good old face to face, even if it's a video. The good old face to face, like if I met you on the street type of thing. And normally you go look at Kiwi Farms or wherever, Bob, my name, real name is there. I'm the, probably the only one, I think, that used a real name at Kiwi Farm. And also, if you know some comment, my big brother, who is one year older than me, use his real name too. So that's two people there, Bob, that don't hide behind a fake name. Two. And yet you just sit all over you, and then you, then you probably realize after, oh, except for Jennifer. She's the substance of the rule when it comes hiding behind a fake Serona. At least you give me the credit of not hiding behind that one of those fake Serona. If you could, for once, notice that every other enemy that don't like you is hiding behind a mask, and here one canadian who is not hiding behind that mask, or I may have a fancy hat, but remember this, Bob, I'm not hiding behind him. That means I am, I am not a coward. I face and a bitch. I don't hide behind anything. As the other one who, who do these things to you, hiding behind a wall, a mask, she you, someone who hates you, actually you could see the person. You should get your credit, at least one of your enemy is not behind, hiding behind a mask. And, and also you know something, that our God already pointing the way where I go. Demon. Damn. Because you, you always say you don't know. Well, I already know. Almost every video I have to remind you, I'm a demon kid and my God is saint. At least I'm an honest demon. Give me credit for that. I know you don't. But every time you say these people 
don't know how the evil spirit, well, I know I have an evil spirit in myself. Do I care? It seems I don't. But I want to let you know, Bob, there's at least one person It's that damn two armors, nowhere to go, not hiding behind a mask, just they hate you. And people, some people don't need a mask to, you know, be, you know, truthful, lie, or whatever. And you know what I don't hide behind that. So not only you, you do your little speech of cowards that hide behind the mask. Remember there's one person out there who hates you, who complains about you, who don't listen to you, all that. Then you know the face of. You know the face of this. And yes, I've been a patient in tension. But every time you go back say, ooh, oh, you never mentioned that there's one enemy you could face to face on the computer. Not hiding behind anything. Like a Christmas tree. I better mean, end that because you know what? This time. I'm telling the truth, because you can see my face, know my name. Goodbye. Bye. Um, off.